Hi, this is Barbara, and this is day seven of Inktober Tangles, and today's pattern is Duda by Zentangle. Duda is a very simple pattern, easy to learn, easy to use, pretty flexible, and let's get to it. I'm going to start with my corner dots. And I'm going to add a straight border as if I were going to use doodah in part of my border because that's one of my favorite things to do. So I'm going to use my Micron 01 and I'm going to go ahead and make a straight line here. And I'm just going to bring this down a little bit as if I were using this to make a border. Another line across and down. And you could just make some simple corners as if it was a frame. And then with, with Duda, I started to say zippity Duda. That's where the name comes from. This looks like a zipper. And Maria named it after the song from Song of the South, Zippity Doodah. So I'm going to start here and bring a line down. And then I'm going to go about the same distance from that line up here. And then I'm just going to continue down this border row. You can put these as close as you want. I'm doing it a little bit further apart so that you can see. So the best way to do it, don't try to make your lines go up. Let's see how that one came out a little bit curvy. The best way to do this is to come down from here and then pull down this one. Keep your pin going in the same direction. Gives you a little bit better consistency on your pattern. So you can see this one goes pretty fast. Just simple lines. You're going to try to keep these about the same distance from the other line on both sides. Try to keep them straight, like I did not do there. And then sometimes, if you want, you can make this one curve a little bit as you get to the corner. Okay, so that is basically the doodah pattern. And there are several variations that I've seen for this. A simple variation. Make this one a little bit bigger. Bring your line down and add a little dot at the end. Make your line and then go back and add a dot. Or an orb, however you want to call it. Fill it in. I suppose you could even do one Leave it open. Okay, so there's one variation of Duda. Another that I've seen is to do the same thing and use a little triangle here at the end. And I should have brought that one down a little bit further, but here we go. So, little triangles.
Okay. You could even try a little square. There we go. But this is my favorite. Well, I'm going to show you next. It's my favorite way to do doodah. And that is to make your lines. And then up here at the top, just make a curve. Bring your line down and then where it meets, make a little curve. I really like how this one looks. Gives kind of a pillowy effect to your curves. That one wasn't so straight, it's okay. So here's the next one. You could have a line that comes in like this. Starts out thick, gets smaller. If you were thinking of this as a zipper, then your zipper is open. Remember to relax. My shoulders tend to get tense, especially when I'm teaching. So just breathe, relax, and enjoy drawing one line at a time. Okay, so there it looks like the zipper has opened. The other way you can do it is in a circle. Um, draw a not perfect circle. And then I'm going to draw another perfect circle inside. I can't even talk right today. This time, let's try adding two lines. So I'm just going to try to go straight between these lines each time. As I turn my tile and go around, and then just keep going straight up and down. Trying to make them all about the same length. the same distance apart. Not being very consistent on the how dark my lines are. And I can go back over them if I need to. Okay. And then one more right here. So there's doodah in a circle. 
with double lines. So there you have several variations of a very simple pattern. For shading, I would just take my graphite pencil and add some graphite against this line. When you're doing your graphite, point your pencil toward the line where you're trying to add your shading. It gives you better control so that you can keep the graphite inside the line. And then I'm going to take my tortillon and soften it. It's always the nice thing about working with a three and a half inch size tile. It's easy to turn it, make it comfortable for your hand, and add the shading. For these, I'm going to add a little bit of graphite down at the bottom of each of these. And then soften it. There's two of them. And then for the little doodah donut, I'm going to add graphite inside this line. I'm pouring my pencil toward the line to keep the control, to keep it inside. And now for this one. This time, instead of icing on the cake, I'm adding icing on the donut. <laughs> okay, soften it. Tortillon. Turn my tile. And then same thing out here on this outer ring. Okay. So there you have it. There are several different ways to use just a very simple pattern. And I think you could find a lot of different ways to use it on your tile. I tend to use it as a border, but you can also use it as a ribbon. You can use it as part of your string to divide other patterns. Have fun with it. I hope you like it. Thanks. Thank you.